humanity has toppled many records over the past few decades. Nevertheless, our potential is bound by certain scientific principles. Let's check some facts about human abilities that may surprise you. Some people have double jointed thumbs, allowing them to bend it backward. In a study shown in 2012, only 32.3% of people have the ability to bend their thumb. Your thumb's bend ability is controlled by its distal interphalangeal joint, the bendy point at which the bones of your thumb are connected. It is often referred as a visual trait of genetic inheritance. Chords are like flute. To talk you need air passing by them to make vibrations and sounds. You can still produce some while inhaling, but it sounds weird. It is difficult to form the right phonemes. Difficult to achieve audible volume, difficult for audiences to make sense of what's being said, and not least. Their listeners may believe that they are looking like loony. All the fingers are interconnected. They share flexor tendons that allows you to bend your fingers. If you try to bend one, another finger will bend along with it. But it is possible, if you are a pianist, you don't have much choice. It is possible by little bit training. People can actually raise both their eyebrows at a time but it gets difficult when they try to raise just one. The ability to raise one is quite rare, but with practice you will be able to train your muscles to do it. Average, 30 to 40 percent. And, 24 percent of people are born with the ability to raise one eyebrow. Those who cannot do it at all is because they cannot control and move the right muscles required to do the job. You can only do it if you have blessed with a short upper arm combined with an abnormally long tongue. Plus you need to be flexible. You can develop this ability or just check to see if you have this rare talent. Only one person in a hundred can lift their elbow according to unofficial estimates. Most people can't put their entire fist in their mouth since a human hand is usually a lot bigger than the opening of their mouth. A few are able to do this, however, simply because they have small fists and big mouth. It's a fun and relaxing pastime and it stretches out your jaw. So you can fit even more cheeseburgers in there. Wiggling ears was useful in ancestral creatures, but it eventually became functionless. You need to use three muscles which are attached in front of above and behind the ears. Only 15% of people can do this. Some of the references feel that the ear wiggling is a genetic capability while others believe that, with a bit of diligence, the practice can be talk to those who do not have a gene. There is a belief that the ability to do different tongue tricks is a result of genetic inheritance. Rolling a tongue into a tube shape is often described as a dominant trait and there are not very much people who can do it. About 25% of people are able to do it. 
However not many people can fold it backwards or make shapes like a spaceship or clover leaf. They all require muscle control and tongue dexterity. Most people can't touch their nose and chin with the tip of their tongue, just about 10% of the population can. Whereas 50% of the population with the inherited connective tissue disorder. It is known as Gorlin sign. If you can do that then you have elastic and flexible and strong tongue muscle. Genetics influence, you can ask your family or relatives regarding this. A4 paper can be folded no more than seven times. An experiment was conducted and came up with a conclusion. Even a very large, dry sheet of paper cannot be folded more than seven times and it was proven with A4 paper. The problem is that the paper's surface area decreases by half with each fold. If you are using a standard size sheet of printer paper and you alter the size or thickness of the paper, you can increase the number of folds that are possible.